Well, when it comes to quality and realism, I think the Notebook LM podcast is just the number one option for most people. However, if you are using Eleven Labs, you can actually use it to create a podcast. And in some ways, it is actually over something more. And dare I say it, it could be better than the Notebook LM version. So let me show you how you can create a podcast using Eleven Labs. And it's very simple. Just head over elevenlabs.io and then let's log in with your own account. And basically here, we have to navigate to a new menu called Studio. Just click this button. And then you can click this option that says Create a Podcast. Now, there are many ways you can provide the references or documents. You can insert from a document from your computer or maybe from a URL or maybe open your existing project. But in this case, I'm going to upload this document that I basically uh, created using Perplexity. And it is talking about the chess principles. Now, I'm going to download this. Uh, sorry, I'm going to upload the PDF version of it, just drag and drop. And now you can select the format. So right here, there are two options. You can select the regular conversation where there are two people talking together, or in this case, two AI voices talking together. Or you can just select the bulletin format, which is basically almost like a monologue, just one person or one voice talking. But in this case, I will try something that is resembling the typical form format of podcast, which is two people or multiple people talking. Let's select conversation. And then select the duration between short, default, and long. I guess I'm going to be using the default option. And let's close this. And here, what's unique about the podcast feature from Eleven Labs is you can select your own voice. You can clone your own voice and then you can select that. That is definitely one possibility. And I think it's going to make the content more personal. It's much closer to home and doesn't feel like something that was mass produced by Notebook LM. So feel free to use any voice that you, yeah, that you want. But in this case, I'm going to be using this voice. There is the host voice and then the guest voice. And here for the language, I guess I will select English. And you can also specify the focus like this is actually very similar in Notebook LM where you can specify what is the thing that you want AI to mention in the podcast. But in this case, I will select I'll choose to make the content to be more beginner friendly. There you go. And let's click add highlight and click save changes. Now, when you're done with the document, with the settings, etc., just click generate and just wait for this AI tool to produce the podcast based on your content. Now, this process is usually faster than OLM. It is going to take about two minutes, but it is only for creating the project. And then later, there are maybe a few things that we are going to do to make the audio sounds a bit better. So I'll skip a while and show you what happened next. All right, so you'll get something that looks like this. And basically, I do recommend to click this button to basically show all the voices so we can easily identify the differences between one voice to another. So it's kind of color coded and it's just making things easier to organize and to look at. Now, uh, before we continue, I do recommend to click this button to play the audio because it will trigger AI to actually start creating the audio from the text. So all those times, the two minutes that I was talking about wasn't actually creating the audio. Right now, there is no audio. It's just preparing the podcast. So let me click this play button and just wait for a few seconds until it starts creating the audio from the text. It will start with the first paragraph, second paragraph, etc. might seem like just a board game, but did you know that mastering it actually rewires your brain to think seven moves ahead? Okay, so that's basically the result. Now, I'm not quite happy with the pace of this person talking. It's kind of too slow, but fortunately, we can change the setting. So what you need to do is you have to uh, select the text or the force that you want to change. And in this case, it, the green color text means that it was narrated by Chris. I'm going to click this button. And after that, you can make the speed to be faster. So the speed was 0.7. No wonder why it's very slow. Let's make it close to, let's say 1.1. And after that, you can click save. And it will actually recreate all the text that was generated by that particular voice. Or another option is you can actually just change the voice into somebody else or some someone else, some different voices. You can click this button again and you can select a different voice. That's an option that you can try. But in this case, I'm quite content with the selection of my voices. And now, one feature that I do really like is that 
you can add some sound effect or even a background music into the podcast, which is very interesting. Anyway, let me click this play button again. And just wait for a few seconds. We should see or we should hear a new Chess might version. seem like just a board game. But did you know that mastering it actually rewires your brain to think seven moves ahead in real life decisions? Yeah. Today okay, it, it is definitely faster. Now you can do photo customization. Again, you can change different voice or change the setting. It's really up to you. But I'll, I'll make things simple here. I just want to highlight a few features that you can try. So I'll try to add some background music and recently, Eleven Labs actually has released its own AI music reader and you can actually use that. I've talked about that on my previous video. You can check it out. But after you created a music, you can navigate to this menu that says music and you can select the audio. So I'm going to put the playhead at the very beginning because I want to make the, the music to play from the very beginning. Let me click this uh, music button again and then I'm going to select this music and it will be inserted into this timeline just wait for a few seconds there you go now i guess i'm going to play let's say the first 25 seconds or 30 seconds of this audio so just to give you the preview of the result and then i'll show you how you can get it as an mp3 file okay let me click this chess might seem like just a board game but did you know that mastering it actually rewires your brain to think seven moves ahead in real oh i forgot to mention that if you don't want to make the background audio to be too loud then you can select the audio clip and then you can adjust the volume so that's an option that you can try anyway let's continue today we're exploring how these ancient strategies can transform the way we approach modern challenges that's fascinating about the cognitive benefits and what really strikes me is how these chess principles apply far beyond the board should we break down the most crucial strategies for our listeners Okay, so let's say you are quite happy with the result and you want to get it to your PC and maybe you want to share it or upload it on YouTube or Twitter, etc. Now you can click this download button, the export button. You can select the format, either the WAV or MP3. MP3 is actually the format that I recommend. It is widely compatible, but if you want to get the highest fidelity, then you can select the WAV format. And for the file structure, be sure it is a single file. Now, actually, you can select paragraph zip, but for simplicity, I do recommend using single file. And after that, click export. And remember, it's actually haven't created all the voices yet. So if you look closely, there is still a lot of things that kind of missing. So we just created the first 45 minutes, less than one minute version of the podcast. And you can use that to adjust various settings before you continue and committing into much longer duration. So I think that's actually a pretty well uh, thought of feature. So you, you don't accidentally waste your credits because this could be very expensive. So anyway, let's continue, click export and then select the single file, the WFE format and click export and just wait and after that you should be able to see the download button right here it is not yet done because the podcast is not complete but after that you can see the download button and you can download the podcast into your computer so i guess that's essentially how you can create a customizable podcast using the podcast feature from 11 labs thank you so much for watching and i wish you a great day ahead